Okay guys, so one of the things that I get all the time with way making and stuff is I don't know how to wear it. <laughs> Which we're all at our own levels with that. Like not all of us are gonna be expert levels, you know, the first time we put makeup on. So in honor of the Fulfill palette being on sale today, $10 off, which is this beautiful palette right here. Okay, it is nudes and shimmers and just beautiful. Um, this is one of my to-go, like, go-to palettes now uh, if I need just something light and to put on. But this is Raspin's Fulfilled Luxury Artistry, Artistry Palette. If you don't know how to put makeup on, I'm going to show you guys the love technique, which any skill level you can put it on so let's talk about the love technique so the love technique is l-o-v-e you want to level your base you want to do your outer crease you want to do the outer v and then you want to do your lid and it's a very basic guide to kids it's a very basic guide to how to put on basic eyeshadow so that you kind of feel like you know what you're doing with life okay awesome so we're gonna start with the L technique with L so we're gonna level the base you want all the base to be one color I usually do this with a concealer foundation sometimes I'll use my the concealer side of my lacy brow light pencil but for today I'm going to use um, balance because she's just a white and she's just a good base so I'm gonna start with balance Okay, so balance. So if you haven't put primer on, make sure you put some primer on because that's how everything's gonna stay is with primer. I like to use the No Perfect primer. This one is just happens to be my favorite one. So I'm gonna just put a little bit in my hand here. Eyes, and it's gonna be easier to wash off, and it's gonna actually keep your shadow on longer so primer 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 just your basic eyeshadow brush okay basic eyeshadow brush and balance so I'm just going to put balance just all over my eyelid and it's just gonna give you a nice base to start with so that if you do have this coloring on your eyelids or anything else it's just that way all the colors just come out the way they're supposed to get up here too okay oh, oh O is your outer so you've got crease guys you've got a crease let's play with the crease okay so you're gonna want a fluffy brush for this this is a highlighter brush you can also just use a blending brush but you want it to be fluffy so that it doesn't pick up as much pigment okay so which is your crease right over here give you some dimension on your eye I'm gonna do comfort right there you want I want my I like mine to be a little darker so I'm just dabbing it in okay if you hold the brush to the end you don't get as much in one spot and it blends better Okay, so I did the O. So I, I've got the outer done. Now V is your outer V. If you see, you've got a V right there. You want to darken that up. Sometimes you don't have to darken it. I like to make it a little darker. And so I'm going to grab an angled brush, an angled brush right here. Okay. And that's going to help get that V. So I did comfort on the outer. I did balance on the on the lid. So I'm gonna do the V. I'm gonna pick up Unity right up here, okay, and do that my V with her. So with this one, I usually just pat this one on. I do blend a little bit. Make sure your hands are back if you to blend. But I'm just gonna hit up this outer V. Tap a bit into Dream. She is a black, like a dark brown black shimmer. So I'm just gonna tap into her. Okay. And so now we're left with E, which is your eyelid. So I've got, you can leave it as is or you can add some sparkle. 
Now with me, I love sparkle. And you can use the sparkle a few different ways. You can use a glitter primer, you can use a wet brush, or you can use your finger. With this palette, it is very easy to use your finger because of just how pigmented these colors are. So I'm actually gonna go in with love, the color love, I'm gonna use my finger, And just for like a little bit of sparkle, I'm just going to go it to town. And that was the E in love. So you've got the base, the outer, the V, and the lid. Now, since I have blue eyes, and I love my blue eyes. I like to add, I'll grab my really fluffy brush and I grab some bliss right down here. A little bit of bliss on the fluffy brush and I just dab the inner corners because with blue eyes, it makes them look bigger and brighter. So I'm just gonna grab add some bliss and just tap her in that corner. Go up a little bit, there we go. There you are. Now, you've done the love technique, so you shouldn't be scared of getting a new palette. This is just a basic, easy way to put your shadow on where you'll feel confident and it's foolproof. Because you can mix and match and do however and whatever you want. You can put the shimmer on the outside, you can put the shimmer on the top. I mean, there's so many options to do and play with. So. You need to grab the Fulfilled palette, you will not be disappointed, and just play with it, guys. Just just play with it. So, now I'm gonna finish my look with, of course, some lashes. Stick Fulfilled look. Okay, so now I have my eyeshadow done, I gotta put lashes on, guys. Like, that's a given. Because I'm still lack of lashes, I'm gonna be using my Asha, my ink liner. And I'm just gonna be doing a simple black line where my lashes would be so that it blends a little bit better. Okay, simple black line on top just so that I know where my lashes need to go because I don't, still don't have those lashes yet, guys. Lashes take a while to go back in when you pull them out. <laughs> I'm gonna go with simple basic mist today. You can't go wrong with mist. She is just a staple lash, she, she just is. Now, if you've never worn the Aspen lashes before, I do have another video that tells you and instructs you how to trim your lashes, best fit to your eye, and how to put them on. But I am using my applicator, my Red Aspen Latex Free. Yes, you heard me. Latex Free, Cruelty Free Adhesive. Because we care about them bunnies. All right, let's see. And if you need to, because sometimes they flatten out a bit, you can rock it back and forth a little bit and it gets it more contoured to your eye shape. It starts going dark blue and opaque, that's when you want to put those lashes on. So I'm going to grab my little mirror and put my lashes on. If you do put your lashes out like me, guys, the line does help so you know exactly where you need to put your lashes so that they're not going to bother you and you're not putting them too far down. Okay, mist is on. The black line also helps if you guys are a little nervous about putting them on and messing up. The black line will also help if your lashes aren't on right, if they come up, it helps. Kind of hide the little mistakes while you're learning how to put your lashes on. Okay guys, there you go. Mist is on. My eyeshadow is on. And that is how easy that is to do. So you're welcome. And, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.